very anxious to exclusively serve you and Sri Radhika. You always cast your merciful glance on those who live in Vrindavan and you fulfill all their desires. So please make the tree of his Raghunath's aspirations bear fruit soon. See Gurudev, this is the power of prayer, no? Srila Rupa Goswami is praying for Raghunath Das Goswami that he gets the mercy because he is crying so much. He's praying to Radha, mother of Radha Mohan. In this Vilapa Kusmanjali, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami offers flower-like lamentations at Sri Mati's lotus feet and renders loving devotional service to her. With love-filled minds and eyes, the Raganuga devotees should see and relish the picture drawn with bath of the intense suffering the maidservant goes. With love-filled minds and eyes, the Raganuga devotees should see and relish the picture drawn with bath of the intense suffering the maidservant goes through day and night when she is separated from her beloved mistress. This means that any devotee who is listening to this prayers of Srila Raguna Das Goswami or Rupa Goswami, we should try to make a picture inside of our heart and our minds accompanied by very loving and empathic emotions to feel what they are feeling when they are in their separation. So we listen to the prayers and at the same time something in our hearts should anticipate, should take part in their feelings of separation. Means we also feel a little bit of what they feel good in. And then something we will be bound in this affection of their feelings, of their relish, of their separation. I will read it again. With love-filled minds and eyes, the Raganuga devotees should see and relish the picture drawn with bath of the intense suffering the maidservant goes through day and night when she is separated from her beloved mistress. How much relish and how many hundreds of different moods are revealed in these lamentations of separation can be learned from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lamentations in the Gambira pastimes. Now it's one verse from Chaitanya Charitamrita. Kurite aiche vilap utilo utvegaba Monika hunahi alamba Utvega vishada mati Autsuke trashadriti smriti Nana bhavera hailo mila while Mahaprabhu lamented in this way, agitation and ecstasy awoke in his heart, and he could not find any support or hold in his mind. Different ecstasies like eagerness, lamentation, fear, 
attention, complacency, and remembrance all met in his heart. It was in the ecstasy of Sri Radha that all these sanctuary bhavs arose in the heart of the Lord, who was known as Bhava Nidhi, the ocean of transcendental ecstasy. So when Lord Chaitanya was in his Gambira, in this cave, in Jagannath Puri, he was experiencing many different ecstasies. They were in his heart like waves, like the ocean of love, Radhika, was experiencing all these sanctuary baths, and then one wave after another were coming in his heart, even like kind of different moods, and he could not hold himself anymore. This is also called Bhava Shabalya, or a clashing of different contradicting emotions. And just as a vision of Krishna appeared in his mind, the strong eagerness to attain him conquered all the other feelings and took place like a king on the throne of the Lord's heart. So when he had a vision of Krishna, because it's Radhika, all this conquered all other feelings of lamentation, fear, remembrance, all these different other ecstasies that were mentioned before, these different feelings, they were like overcome like, a, like from a big wave of a vision of Krishna and conquered all other feelings and became like a king on the throne of Swamini's heart, of Lord Chaitanya's heart. His highly developed eagerness conquered all other soldiers of ecstasy and one uncontrollable desire arose in the kingdom of his mind. And then he sadly rebuked his own mind by saying, Manamora Vamadina Jala vina yena mina Krishna vina kshane moriya Madura hasya vadane Mana netra rasayane Krishna trishna dviguna badai Without Krishna, my poor mind will die within a moment Just like a fish out of water and Krishna's sweetly smiling face, which is like a reviving elixir for the mind and eyes, make my thirst for Krishna double. Ha ha Krishna Pranadana, ha ha Patmalochana, ha ha Divya Satguna Sagar, ha ha Shyama Sundara, ha ha Pitambara Tara. Ha ha rasa, vilasa naga. O oh Krishna, treasure of my heart, O oh lotus eyed one, O oh ocean of divine qualities, O oh Shama Sundara, O oh wearer of the yellow dhoti, O oh hero of the rasa lila, kahagele tomapai, Tumi ko tahayai, eto kohi choli la diai daiya. Svarupa uti kole kori, prabure anila dari. Nijastane posai la loya. Where should I go to find you? Tell me, and I will go there. Saying this, Mahaprabhu began to run. Swarupa got up and brought the back, the Lord back on his lap. Then Swarupa 
brought the Lord back to his own place and seated him there. Because Srila Raghunath Das Goswami is the receptacle of Mahaprabhu's full grace, different waves of bhav headed by eagerness are seen to arise in him also. In a transcendental vision, Sri Raghunath Das says, Devi! And Tulasi sees how much Srimati sweetness increases because she awoke the remembrance of the Lila Rasa in her heart while putting the musk drop on her chin. And therefore she calls her Devi. What is the must drop? Must drop is a black chin means that she can see and feel Krishna is always near to her. Devi means effulgent and most beautiful girl. Tulasi now will draw red lines on Swamini's teeth. Sri Radhika sits on a golden seat and extends her matchless bodily luster. Tulasi holds her left hand on Srimati's head and slightly lifts her moon-like face. Holding a brush in her right hand, Tulasi makes red lines on Srimati's white teeth with deep concentration, saying, Your teeth are just like pomegranate seeds that will attract the parrot from Rindavan. Their bright effulgence will destroy the darkness of his lonely despair. Seeing the red lines on Srimati's teeth, Tulasi is astonished and says, Aha! How beautiful your teeth are! They look just like pearls with lines of ruby on them. They will act just to increase the greed of the parrot from Vrindavan. If he can enjoy this, then all my endeavors are successful. When Swamini hears Tulasi words, she imagines that Shyam is sitting at her feet, praying to her in great humility and with tear-filled eyes. This is one verse from Gita Govinda. Krishna speaking to Radhika. If you say even the slightest thing, the moonlight of your beautiful teeth will take away the dense darkness. The nectar of your lips that emanate from your moonlike face places my chakora, bird-like eyes. O oh, beloved, O oh girl with the beautiful nature, give up your causeless peak. My mind burns in the fire of desire. Please give me honey drink from your lotus-like face. Tulasi's prattling crystallizes Shyam before Swamini. How many pastimes can she awaken within Swamini's memory? Now it is as if Swamini is Krishna Krida Pujara Vasati Nagari, the empress of the town of Krishna's play and worship. That's why Tulasi calls her Devi. You see, here you see. Uh, 
and chaitan chaitamrita mahaprabhu is listening radhika is listening here and uh, to see manjari is reminding the past time and there also rai ramanand is doing that in swarup damoda rai ramanand is doing also swarup damoda is doing so they are in their gop gopi bhav that inspiring to radhika to remind the krishna and past So listening is more flavor than talking. Hmm. Why go there? Because listener can flow. and uh, who is talking they have to first listen to talk and this is the highest speaker who listen and talk and second they prepare to talk they study then they collect the subject to talk and one is listening also by the grace of gurudev and he is sharing it goes heart to heart it's rare to find like that but preparing and talking is very easy to do but it did not go to the heart because it's prepared by the mind and calculated by mind to share that so it goes up to mind and listener they select that what they want to listen and they stay in that and other thing is a flow of listening you receive what you necessary and you you stay or you flow you are flowing all the time or you are sitting but not listening because my body is here my mind is some other place so i am not listening i am not interested but if i am interested i will start flowing what i am listening and what is my special subject what touch to me i stay little longer than i not listen other is depend upon the listener listening is a art and listening is more is speciality shravanam not de- telling the talking no where you can listen that you talk then you will be very high you listen you develop the practice of listening shravanam that is listening means even the talking time if you start listening that is the beautiful every time you have to listen shravan then it become kirtanam kirtanam means all the time mind is fixed with you and i am remembering you that kirtanam my mind is not moving here and there is fixed in you and remembering of you that is kirtanam then pad sevanam then what is i wanted to i want to be just of you i want to be always live near to you always want to be with you that is pad sevanam i want to always think on your lotus feet by your shelter but with you my life will be happy i can reach from material to the spiritual consciousness and development can be possible so 
the highest Buddha is when the speaker is also listener, means they are like an instrument and they will listen to what is coming through them to the Buddha. Many, they cannot talk because they are not connected to listen. No blockage. Uh, not connection. Not connection means little disconnection. Why disconnection? Many region can happen. That I don't want to share that. But if there is no connection, I cannot listen. I disconnect with my Gurudev. I disconnect with my soul consciousness. I disconnect from my Istadev. My mind is working in material thing. Disconnection. Many things, circumstances can come for disconnection. Lose connection. Disconnection. Connection should more tied to listen. Yes. Connection means not external, inner, inner connection has to be there. Yes, right. Yeah. yeah. Service is the result of bhajan. When the bhajan is going right, means I am to really in real meditation, I like to serve. It is the nature of the meditation of bhajan that I want to serve. I cannot live without service. Service is the result of bhajan. Guru Devan Kamadhi lost this grace to serve. How to reestablish? Lost means disconnection. Again, connect. Wire is loose, tight it, its connection will be there. Why loose connection? Loose because there is a wire, is, tape is loose. Cut the wire nicely both sides and connect and tightly bind it, fix it. What is the problem? If I want to be in flow, if I don't want to be in flow, then no problem. Yeah, go on. Tulas is prattling, talking, no? chatting. Crystallizes Shyam before Swamini. You see, the beauty of sh sharing that Swamini become very crystal clear about Swam. He, she starts looking to the Shyam. What is the beauty of this book? It makes you crystallize to see your s spiritual identity and to be, to see the Swamini with that spiritual identity. Crystallize, crystallize you, this book. And to the Swamini, why crystallize to us? Because the Tulsi talk crystallized to Swamini's heart to see Shyam. That is Parkya Bhav, talking for something and you have to meditate for something. This is Parkya Bhav. Why? Because talking about Swamini, Radhika, how to see is crystallizing in her heart by her talk, that Swamini can feel together. Similarly, this Tulsi Manjari and the writer of this book wants to crystallize in our heart to feel that you are also the one of the kinkiri, one of the servant in a spiritual body that it crystallizes us. And at the same time, 
is very crystallized as very clearly understanding is coming that I am the dasi of Swamini, Radhika. That become clear. See, to see is teaching us by giving example to Radha and Krishna to us to develop this relationship. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. This is her service, result of the Kirtan. She is in service. Talking is also service. Bringing perfume is also serving. And doing everything for Swamini is also service. How I can make happy to my Swamini is my service. Then, Atma Sukha Priti Vancha Dhare Kamnam. Krishna Sukha Priti Vancha Dhare Premnam. What is Priti pre, Prem? What is done for the happiness for you, Swamini? That become Prema. And what I do for my enjoyment, that become Kama. It's very crystallized. This, all the slokas crystallize with our realizations. Wow. Tulasi's prattling crystallizes Shyam before Swamini. How many pastimes can she awaken within Swamini's memory? Okay, you see, one lover is sitting. She is in so much deep connection, she will not talk about her pastime. Right? Never. She will be quiet. But somebody, the friend, start talking to remind the pastime, then she relish more. Right or not? So that is the sravanam. That is the sravanam. That sravanam means listening is important that I want to crystallize my all pastime. What I listen about that, to more crystal picture in our life. So this is only can happen by listening. Which class of listener I am, it depends. By listening, I see many persons change her life. Only by listening. Some points, all the subject not come to the heart. One line come to the heart and life change. One word come to the life and life change. Not all the subject is necessary. Essence of the point change our life. This is the power of listening. Yeah. For perfect listening is this when we not cut the listening. Cutting. When I listen, I also cutting like a scissor. My mind is like a scissor. They cut. Oh, what this telling is not a right thing. I cut means I no listen. I block myself. I listen someplace like this and here is something, this cutting. The cutting is a cut. You finish your test to increase. No, you decrease your test. And one, the best listener who is flowing in the listening. Yeah. Living in the listening, because line is going on, words are going on, and you have to keep your mind and all heart in every word. And the paragraph, it finished paragraph and page, and you have to flow in every, every word. That is the lesson. And this is the one of the best meditation also. To control the mind. Yes.
But if you have full faith, you don't touch. Sure. It depends. Faith or not faith, no business. If I have a greed, I like, I have no cut. If I have no greed, I start cutting. Mind is start cutting. My computer not accept and no, no digest out. My air, air has to drink. Drinking is the subject. When air likes to drink, then eyes want to eyes want to talk. Eyes is talking in that circumstances when air is drinking. Mm. How many pastimes can she awaken within Swamini's memory? Now it is as if Swamini is Krishna Krida Pujada Vasati Nagari, the Empress of the town of Krishna's play and worship. Why Swamini is listening like a drinking? Eh, eh, skin to keep it here for the cow. Ah, huh? then leave it here. They will bring to the cow. Leave it here. Oh, I. So listening. Why Swamini is listening? Because she is a lover of Krishna. Greed is there. So that listening means. When you have a love and greed for that, you listen. Manjari, why listening? Because she has a greed for Radhika. She wants to develop this bhav. But if my Manjari bhav is not grown up, then I am listening from where? Bodily consciousness. Then what is happening? My mind is also working. My senses are bringing outside. So how much I am listening? Not like Manjari is listening, Dasi listening, the close, closest friend of Radhika listening. I cannot listen like that. That greed is not there. But I will listen. Maybe by listening and listening and listening, my greed will come to, to more relishing, then my greed will develop to listen like a Manjari. Dasi of Radhika. Because she listened like this. She is in love with Krishna, but I am in love with her, Radhika. So when I am in love with Radhika, I have to also, she is teaching how to listen, how to relish the pastime. That is Manjari Bhava. If I cannot follow her mood, her way, her style, her feelings, what type of, I am the shadow. Shadow has to follow all the things what the form has. There is no difference between shadow and form, right or not? Shadows goes the way form has, where the form is, uh, form is going, the original is doing. Right? Radhika wants to listen because he's lover. Yes. So if you, we have a desire to become shadow, that also one greed. Is the greed is there or not? Shadow will go with me or not? This my hand shadow. It will go like my hand is moving. So Radhika is the original, the shadow is coming. And the manjari, manjaris are the shadow. You see the finger do like this and the shadow do like this. So she do, she do like this and shadow is working on that. This is manjari bhav. Out of the original, shadow never wants to go. Then shadow existence will finish. Yeah, Radha. We need light, so we have a shadow. 
Right. Light is the the sunlight. You can deep shadow, but if you are in shade, also shadow is there. I check this. The only sunlight shadow is there. Without light, also less light, but shadow will be there. Yeah. That in darkness, shadow leave us or what? No, also shadow is living because that time more important. You cannot see, but shadow will not see. <laughs> but <laughs> shadow will not leave you. Similarly, this is the position of Radha and the Manjaris. And more high position is the Radha and Krishna. Krishna is not there. But she never think that Krishna is not there. That the intense love of Radhika, and when she is not there, Manjiris are talking some past time just to crystallize more to her. Crystallize means there is the, Krishna is there, but more crystallize is mean more crystallize means more details. <laughs> More crystal clear to Manjiris do more crystal. There is, but crystallize more. <laughs> Only what is very is beautiful. Tulasi's prattling crystallizes Shyam before Swamini. You see? Crystallize. Means form is there. More details he is talking. <laughs> More crystal details. Remind me. Ah. How many pastimes can she awaken within Swamini's memory? Ah, how many pastimes? Unlimited things are coming to her. We she start living in the floating. She forget that she is Radha or Krishna. She start merging in like a Krishna flow. And the Manjari is talking this to learn to the Manjari. Others follow her Manjari that this has to crystallize more to your Rishtadev, Radhika. And these pastime, what we are listening, they are telling indirectly to me to crystallize more about yourself and Radhika. This is where you will get this book, like this. Huh? And to go in deep subject like this to understand that. No, my mercy, no, your mercy, I am rel relishing. But thing is this, we have to sit in Vrindavan for this meditation. This is the land who gives us to realize. It's not possible in Switzerland or Germany to do that. Impossible. The vibration is not favorable for you. To crystallize yourself and crystallize your connection there. That's not possible. Then? But what to do? We need to be there work. <laughs> yes, you're sure to work. But when you go after six months to outside, from outside to your country, your battery, is, car not start. Why? Battery become down. Then what you do? You put in charging. When it charge, then again car start doing, <laughs> taking self. And you can drive that car. So, what is a Vrindavan to charge your battery? You come and fully charge and drive your car there. That time your mood will be fixed there. Is a battery charging place that you charge your battery so much it takes time to go down and when it's going down you can come and charge it. But live in this mood doing everything you are not doing for yourself, doing everything 
all will become your service. This is the art of Vrindavan. By practicing, you do everything normal. You have a family life, you do everything you care. Your husband, husband take care of wife, wife but it all will become in the service mood, not for self-enjoyment. Service mood is different and self-enjoyment is different. You serve something, you enjoy something. These two things are different subjects. And what is in service mood is all Krishna prem. All is a prem. You increase your love, not you decrease your love. But when your enjoying mood will come, you decrease your love and increase your sense desire. If one stays in Vrindavan, you can overload the battery and so get free. Ba ba overload the battery, but he overload the battery with crazy people that his battery will charge like that. <laughs> it depends how where you want to charge it. Here are varieties of... And everybody has a place to live in Vrindavan. You see the pigs are also in the bulk quantity and the dogs are also in bulk quantity and garbage is also in bulk quantity because they come and throw the, their garbage. Throw the garbage, so many people have so many garbage and they throw it here to clean themselves. What about other garbage? Normal, material, no, spiritual, what they have is talk, they have come to throw here and to become purified. So it's a full of garbage, we see, because everybody comes to do that. Different level. <laughs> and, and how, how they go with the freshness. This is the mercy of Radhika. This is the mercy of motherly love. <laughs> Mother will never say, I am cleaning the garbage. She clean and she never bother for cleaning. She never share to others. Vilasi, she draws red lights on Swamini's teeth. Tulasi draws red lines on Swamini's teeth and is astonished by their beauty. And she says, Aha! How beautiful are your teeth! They look just like pearls with lines of ruby on them. All these endeavors are made to increase the greed of the Krishna parrot. You see? Not only Krishna parent. Krishna, not that Krishna will come and when he will kiss to Radhika, then he will feel more to kiss her. Not only that, Radhika is trying to help to the babies also, to the shadow also, to meditate in my teeth and this, that you will meditate and this way you will become very close to me, that my teeth and the teeth, uh, the side, the color, and you do the service, and your mind will be fixed for that. And then, where is the mind is jumping for see the teeth? You will not see that. Now I will show my teeth. I will show my breast. I will show my forehead. I will show my beauty to him, you, that you will forget to search for the beauty. What you want to see? I want to make you shadow. And when I de decide to make you shadow, I will show you everything because you are my shadow. How I can hide from you? All my body will take the shadow. And that you are. You made by my shadow. You are my part. So you meditate. And I meditate for Krishna that I can make happy to him and he will run to come and kiss me. And I will call, you will be watching that, that how he kiss me. That the mercy, great mercy. No? Radha. How beautiful are your teeth? 
Aha, they look, look just like pearls with lines of ruby on them. All these endeavors are made to increase the greed of the Krishna parrot. When he can relish this, all my endeavors have become worthwhile. When he relishes this, she will become happy. And Manjari said that, I will see this, I will be get everything, endeavor. I will got everything when I will meditate in your teeth from me. Ah. In Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th Kanto, Sri Krishna says to his friend Uddhava, Ratna nam patmaragosmi, of gems I am the ruby. In this way, Krishna always resides on Radhika's pearl-like teeth. You see? Ah. And the beauty of this special service must be learned from the Goswamis. It is the service of Mahabhav, and it must be understood through Mahabhav. It is the service of Mahabhav. Small bhav cannot understand, but you can see it, and slowly, slowly, if you have a feeling, then you will understand that. It is a service of the feeling to go to the highest feeling. It is no other business. If you have a, some feeling, you can a, go to the highest feeling. If you have an empty feeling, then you cannot realize this. It is the only subject of the feeling. Then if I am empty with the feeling, then I will increase little feeling in me. When it, little feeling will come, then I will want to go grow this feeling. When I will grow this feeling, then I can reach to the highest feeling. This is this subject. And it is the service of Mahabhav, and it must be understood through Mahabhav. Aha. We cannot understand without who has no Mahabhav, he cannot inject in us little bhav. We have to associate with the Mahabhav people, with the highest feeling people, to get some injection from the, by their association, something can happen. Effect will come to me of some feeling, touch of that. This is we done, want. Yes. Where are the insignificant living entities? And where is that Mahabhav, the essence of love of God? Essence of love of God. Means a God, God. Chaitanya Chaitamrit is mentioned by mercy of Prabhupada. The God, God is Radhika. Krishna, God is Radhika. If Krishna wants something, that is Radhika. So for that, he come in the form of Chaitanya to relish that. He become Ashra, shelter of Radhika, and the goal was the Radhika Prem. Radha Prem was the goal. That is Chaitanya Chaitamrita. And when you will un want to understand Chaitanya Chaitamrita, when you see Chaitanya as a Radhika, all will be crystal clear. This is all preparation again to read Chaitanya Chaitamrita. To see with this vision, you see the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like a Krishna, as a God, little you understand. But if you want to see the Prem Mahabhava Avatar, Radhika appears with Krishna also, like a sandwich that he cannot escape with that bhav. Radha bhav, braj mood, he will not go out from the braj bhav. That Krishna is there. Not Dwarka, this Narayan Krishna is there. His only Krishna or Brajendanandan is there, in between sandwich, outside and inside. That's Radha. That is the Chaitanya, and that is the mercy of Chaitanya. Yes. Now, in this particular age of Kali, 
the afflicted souls have become so fortunate to enter into this kingdom of Mahabhav. You see, the mercy of Chaitanya, mm. what Krishna cannot do, what Radha alone cannot, cannot do, Radhika can take care of the manjaris only, of sakis and gopis. She has no much area, but Mahaprabhu opened her, open the whole universe field in Mahabhava stage with Krishna to show and bring from there to enter in Gopi Bhav, to bring Radhika Bhav. Do you see? What mercy of Chaitanya is this? From where I was in, in the uh, lying and falling and suffering in this material world, from there Chaitanya sandwich means bread or Radhika and cheese is in between that you cannot go out from this bread. This is sandwich. Holding to cheese, you cannot escape from me. You are very greasy, you can escape from me. But I will hold you like a cheese, you put the butter and this, only it can go up to bread. It cannot escape out from the other plate and jump out. No. You have to, I will hold you that you cannot change your mood here. This is Chaitanya, Chaitanya. <laughs> you are kept in between. In between me, though you cannot go out. Through me, through the bread, you can release Krishna also there. This is Chaitanya. Wow. So beautiful, so merciful. And then say, oh, Nitya Siddha and Sadhana Siddha, all is there, but by grace will also possible. You, this fallen soul, in this life, how he can come to the, in the association of Nitya Siddha and Sadhana Siddha is also possible. And there are many examples, they do it, and they can go, Nitya Goloka Vrindavan Dham, and they can stay in the always in service. They no need to come and go. And where they will go, only they will go with Radhika. This is the mercy of Chaitanya. The reason of appearance of Chaitanya is to give the, this blessing to the all jiva that you can be qualified if you have a feeling you are qualified to be Radha Dasi. Huh? That's a good Yeah, Radhe, Radhe. Now, in this particular age of Kali, the afflicted souls have become so fortunate to enter into this kingdom of Mahabhav, which is otherwise difficult to access by the special mercy of Sri Chaitanya. Mahaprabhu. Yeah. You see, the same light comes. I never read this verse. It's, How come you say the same thing before I read it, Guru? This is the rela reality. This is the reality. When you read this book, you will sure read Chaitanya Chattamrita. And then you will read again Bhagavad Gita. And then you will understand crystal clear to Bhagavad Gita, Chaitanya Chaitamrita and these things. This is the PSD subject. When you do the PSD, all the subjects are very clear. Krishna is nothing, bhai. Krishna is a only one simple gardener, like my Gopal here <laughs> in Vrindavan. Gardener! He has no kingdom in Vrindavan. He is not a king of Vrindavan. <laughs> Vrindavan queen is Radhika, and he is only the garden, protector of the garden. One day say, Krishna, you cannot take flower from my garden. I am the gardener. I said, okay. He was very strong fighting with the gopis. Then Radha Rani come. What happened? He say he don't want to give any flower because he say I'm a gardener. 
Then Radhika said, whose garden is this? He said, I don't know, but I am the gardener, I have to protect it. And she is the owner of the gardener and he is the gardener. This is the beauty of Vrindavan. Yes, Shri Radhe. Shri Radhe. Radhe, Radhe.